So, welcome to Belgium. Quite uh, happy to have you all here uh, for uh, this uh, SVG event. Uh, and indeed, uh, as you heard, uh, we are celebrating our 30th uh, anniversary this year. Um, so I look forward indeed to, to uh, do some celebrations with many of you throughout the year here in Belgium, in Paris in a few months, or Amsterdam, uh, uh, or uh, Vegas, or wherever in the world uh, over the next uh, weeks and months. So, let me start here, because indeed my time is limited, of course. Augmenting the beautiful game. What are we talking here about? What game are we talking about? One of the KPIs that we look at at the EVS is uh, how is our industry going forward? And one of those KPIs is, of course, uh, looking at those uh, sport media rights. And we have uh, worldwide uh, data that shows us uh, how is the industry going forward. And I know that the next speaker will go more into detail in the European uh, football rights. But uh, overall, EVS, as a company working worldwide, we are looking indeed at numbers worldwide. And then we see indeed that overall, when we look to sport and sport rights, the CAGR and the growth rates throughout the years are quite positive for many leagues. What you can see here overall is that all leagues globally have a CAGR of 4 to 6 percent. So that's really nice. That's over a period of 26 to 21 in this case. But we see that there is definitely a difference between the major leagues and the smaller leagues. And when we talk about major leagues, we're not only talking about the beautiful game, which is football in Europe, but we talk about NFL, NBA, NBL, and those big American sports. I was a few days ago in Vegas for the Super Bowl. And uh, I can tell you, they, when they talk about football, there is only one real football, and that's not soccer, by the way. Huh? But that's another discussion. Just saying that uh, when we are in the US and we talk about sports, we're in a different world. Huh? When they make a, a stadium which is worth uh, $1.8 billion, um, that's a normal thing for, us, for them, huh? which is absolutely not the case here in Europe. So it's a different world, but overall, I would say, this is good for our industry, it's good for EVS that we see um, those uh, rights uh, going up uh, because that means that uh, there is a positive momentum uh, in this uh, industry. Then talking about another KPI that we look at at uh, EVS, uh, or we are celebrating 30 years, uh, one of the important KPIs that we look at is uh, what is the NPS, uh, that's the Net Promoter Score, that is uh, what you customers and partners are seeing about us. And uh, what we have here is an uh, overview of uh, EVS on the left hand side and some other of our colleagues in the industry and uh, an evolution of the last three years. And this is uh, data from Davencroft. And in that, uh, we're quite happy that uh, we see that even at 30, after 30 years, we still have um, very good uh, feedback from customers. In fact, over the last three years, we had the biggest growth uh, in NPS uh, throughout the industry. And we have only two other colleagues uh, who have uh, still higher numbers than us. We also see that some, and a lot, in fact, of other players in our industry, um, uh, when I talk about technology companies, have a difficult time, have low NPS, and we also see that in their revenue numbers. But definitely, we, as a company which is celebrating 30 years this year, we feel quite positive and we're very happy with the feedback uh, that we get from you. So, over the years, EVS, um, you know um, what we've been doing in the beginning. We've done a quite big revolution of how replay has been uh, put uh, uh, on screen, on air. But over the years, we further in extended our product portfolio. We've been a very reliable partner in that respect that we've always kept focusing on existing customers, being um, uh, truck um, uh, companies or so live service providers or uh, media companies, and we continue doing that. And we further increase our product portfolio. So we're not only anymore that replay company, we have quite some other products and solutions uh, in our product portfolio, and we can talk about that in a few uh, slides. So. A good example here in Belgium is uh, Proximus Media House. I think uh, some of you are here. Are you? Oh. I can't hear you. Yeah, you're there. So uh, Proximus Media House are using our liveception uh, solutions, of course, uh, for producing that uh, football or those football matches uh, every week, but also using our mediaception solutions uh, for managing all that content. Uh, so that is a, a very nice example of a customer here in Belgium using different type of uh, solutions. Uh. Another one is uh, uh, EMG here in uh, Belgium as well, uh, using our liveception solutions, but also with media infrastructure. Uh, some of you might remember that we did our biggest acquisition ever during COVID in May 2020 by acquiring Axon, and that's what we call now media infrastructure. We're quite pleased uh, with the progress that we've been doing uh, with um, their products. Uh, I was talking before uh, with one of you uh, that um, 
uh, when we acquired Axon, I know that some of their new Neuron products were used as doorstoppers in Australia. Now I'm very happy to see them in the racks uh, performing um, at uh, full capability. So we we're happy with that acquisition and we've shown indeed to customers that we further invested in those uh, technology and that uh, with Cerebrum, with Neuron, with Strata, we bring new technologies and new capabilities uh, to our customers. Going forward, we have introduced Media Hub. If um, uh, you will be connected to the Olympic Games um, this year, later on, uh, you'll also go through a portal uh, which is powered by EVS equipment, Media Hub type of solution for contact exchange. Uh, we'll, I think we'll have later today also uh, an, uh, a presentation from the Royal Belgian Football Association showing how they're using uh, this uh, uh, content exchange solution from EVS uh, for distributing uh, their content. Yeah, so RBFA, so if you want to see more, of course, um, you can also uh, check uh, this uh, QR code. Going forward, uh, we have also invested over the years, of course, uh, into our VAR solutions. It's called Power Vision, and one of the products there is Exebra, which we're also demonstrating here uh, on site. So definitely uh, an important uh, evolution. We've seen more and more traction for that type of product around the world. So we're quite happy to see that um, going uh, in different um, parts of the world. We have here a few of the uh, examples of um, customers using our technology. And again, we are a technology provider in this case, and we rely on partners to provide the service. And I, can, uh, I can talk about NEP, I can talk about Media Pro, which are big partners using our technology for providing VAR services uh, in different uh, regions of the world. Overall, after 30 years, this is uh, what you see um, uh, as a company, our revenue number um, uh, throughout the years. Uh, we started in 94, uh, after, by the way, going twice uh, bankrupt. Uh, so it's only the third time uh, that was the good time, as they say at EVS. So you see here, uh, we're quite proud of the evolution, and especially of the last years, uh, where we had um, a positive trend uh, from the start until 2012. We saw a negative trend until 2020 with COVID, and since 21 we are back into growth mode and realizing a new uh, record numbers. Uh, and by the way, in 23 we just announced our figures. Uh, we are a stock-listed company. Uh, I, I assume you know that. We announced our figures: uh, 173 million in an uneven year. So that means uh, without a World Cup, without Olympic Games, uh, without a, a Euro, things like that. So that's indeed uh, showing that um, uh, you, our customers, and our business partners uh, are appreciating what we do and that is not only translated in uh, increasing NPS but also in increasing revenue numbers. Now let me end uh, with something which is obvious. Uh, you heard before talking about artificial intelligence and since uh, ChatGPT uh, came uh, in the market uh, last year everybody talks about that. At DVS uh, we've started investing into this type of technology more than five years ago and we started also bringing already tools like extra motion into the market um, like uh, two years ago. So this is definitely an important game changer that is also helping us and you to further enhance uh, the quality uh, of the game that you see on the screen. So, what is it about? Well, just look at uh, this um, pitch. When you want to do a nice replay, on the left-hand side, you're used to use uh, super slow cameras. That's the only way that you know how to do an, um, a nice uh, slow motion. With our artificial, our generative artificial intelligence technology, extra motion, now we suddenly turn any camera into a super slow motion camera. Uh, even a drone could be a super slow motion camera. And that is thanks to extra motion. What is it all about? Uh, in fact, um, between two real images, we are making two hallucinated images uh, based on our technology. And let's have a look to an example of what that means without. This is an initial, initial clip at 50 frames per second, where you see that the slow motion uh, is not really that nice. That's the initial clip. And then when we look to the frame interpolation or extra motion, you see the uh, result here. Uh, so we are creating... Um, two unreal images next to one uh, real image. So, in fact, two-thirds of what you just saw is uh, based on artificial intelligence. And this is always being used by customers around the world, and not only in football, but in other sports uh, uh, as well. So this is indeed a great uh, technology that we're quite proud of. If you want to have more information about that, you can come and talk to us, or you can indeed uh, also scan this uh, QR code and check our paper on uh, how generative AI uh, is uh, changing um, our industry. Let me end here uh, with um, one video. Uh, we are celebrating 30 years, uh, and uh, I wanted to make sure that you had the opportunity to see this video.
So, thank you for that. Let me express again uh, my gratitude uh, for your partnership. We're proud to say that uh, we do this together uh, with uh, friends and families. We're proud to say that as a Belgian company, we make sure that billions of people every day see emotions or get emotions uh, thanks to our technology. And again, thank you for part being part uh, of our story. And we look forward to many more years to come. Thank you. <laughs>